fuck is it? Is it finally here? Mail day. Local pickup, too. I uh, will start with this. Uh, these, this and the local pickup were actually from the other day. I just really haven't had it in me to do anything. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's been shit. Up first, we have uh, something I watched back when it first debuted on the Arrow TV uh, streaming service. This was the reason I even subscribed to that, and then shortly unsubscribed. But this was fantastic. Um, yeah. The El Duce tapes documentary on El Duce and the mentors fantastic uh, in the early 90s aspiring filmmaker and general hospital co-star Ryan Sexton lugged a giant camcorder into some of the seediest clubs and filthiest apartments in Hollywood there he filmed hour upon hour of VHS footage of the jaw-droppingly offensive shock rock band the mentors focusing on their infamous lead singer, El Duce. 30 years later, the team behind The Nightmare and Room 237 and the editor of Leap of Faith, William Friedkin on The Exorcist, uncover this dusty stockpile of long-forgotten and unseen footage. They begin to piece together a picture of the man under the black ex executioner's hood and what his willfully offensive act and controversial views might tell us about 21st century America. An incendiary tragicomic documentary midway between the decline of Western civilization and Crumb, which has been hailed as essential viewing by Cineview and called dark and irresistible by director John Carpenter, the El Duce tapes will chew you up, spit you out, and leave you floored. I'm kind of blown away that John Carpenter watched this, but, uh, yeah, this, this is fantastic. What did it come with? We've got, so there's the OG, well, OG cover, whatever. Uh, so that's the same. So you know what we got to do? Got to do the old flippy flip. Fucking love that cover so much more. Um, fuck off, you fucking fuck. Got a little advertising postcard. And we got a booklet. Hey now. Be careful what I flip through here, just in case. Oh, nothing really bad. Okay. Stoked to actually read this one. And then it discards the same as the slip. Can't wait to rewatch this one. Then, for the local pickup, decided to check out one of the, the thrift stores nearby to see what they had. And this was really the only thing worth picking up. Never heard of it before, but it sounds pretty cool. The Demolisher. And Raven Banner put it out, and most of their, their shit's pretty cool. So, this is a... Uh, 
a revenge flick. Kind of sounds like The Punisher and stuff like that. Uh, dude's wife, who's a former policewoman, gets f- a victim of gang violence. And this dude, who's a cable repairman, decides to uh, throw on some riot gear and start cleaning up the streets. Kind of like Death Wish style, I guess. Um, I'm hoping that it is nice and violent. Oh, there's actual another cover. Cool. Uh, there's the alternative cover. Right on. When he finds you, run. <laughs> and then there's the disc art. And got more syrup and weed in the mail today, too. But not going to bother unboxing that one on camera because then YouTube's just going to age restrict the fucking video. Fucking retarded. Shit's legal, but then we can have videos of fucking drinking and smoking cigarettes and not get fucking age restricted. Whatever. Not getting into it. That's going to be the unboxing, folks. Thanks for fucking watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.